Tell us about uh, your, the film that you have uh, playing here at the London Film Festival. Um, <clears throat> it's called Treacle Junior. Um, it's um, a drama uh, about a man who walks out on his family for no apparent reason and has a bit of a breakdown and starts living on the streets of London. And uh, he meets this really mad character in A&E, uh, played by Aidan Gillen from The Wire. Um, and he's, he's basically like this real motor mouth, kind of very funny, sort of mad character. And he just won't leave this guy alone who's having this breakdown. I say you're a sick footer. Sick what? Sick, sick fella? A six footer. You know, you look very tall. Oh, a six footer? Yes, a six footer. <laughs> just look at it. How tall are you? Um, six foot four. Six foot four, that is tall. How's the weather up there? <laughs> Um, Danny Boyle's got a film here and he of course had Slumdog here two years ago and swept the board at the Oscars. Do you think his success has had a, an impact already on, on British cinema since then? Oh gosh, um, I don't know really. Um, I think it's always difficult to make films regardless you know, of what else is going on with, it, with anyone else. Um, I've not necessarily no, noticed the difference. I made this film with my own money. I had to, I had to fund this film myself. So um, I remortgaged to make it. So... Um, I, I, di I didn't even attempt to try and find, well, I, I, I did a little a bit of searching to try and find some money and found it very difficult and decided I wasn't going to wait around. So I think it's still really hard to make films in this country, um, anywhere, you know. Having experienced that problem, um, what do you, what's your thoughts on the UK Film Council being axed? Do you have an opinion on that? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great shame and I, 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 I think it's just, it's just, you know, causing more havoc and and it's like starting again, you know, so it's obviously it's a, it's a body that's been set up and it's really helpful, it really helped me. Um, it, I, this, this film that we just made was selected for Luff, uh, which is that great market festival, and that's how we got selected for here, and that was funded by the, you know, the Film Council. So, you know, it's, I think it's a real shame, and, um, and now they're kind of just catching up and got to start all over again, you know, whatever comes in its place. I don't know if it's going to be a... Sh you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, you mentioned you've got an actor from The Wire in, in your film. Do you think that with the rise of the big HBO AM, AMC series that the, the line between movies and cinema and uh, quality television are blurring in a way? Uh, I hope so. I mean, that's what I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, a few people who are fans of The Wire will come and see this film, see Aidan play this character. Um, you know, he's a brilliant actor and, um, and he plays a very different uh, role in this film to anything I've seen him do before. He's not played a sort of comic character like this uh, to, to my knowledge I, I mean I'm with friends I'd, I've, I'd pretty much followed his career as much as anyone and, and I haven't really seen him play too much on the screen I know he's played some roles like that in theatre but I think um, yeah I mean hopefully um, you know, HBO and they're fantastic they are, you know I'm a box set uh, addict like uh, most uh, people uh, it seems these days so I'm hoping yeah I'm hoping that brings some attention to, to to, the, to our film.